Hello ladies and gentlemen of Sidemen Reacts. Today we have a four piece of myself, Vic, Josh, and Harry reacting what? to the top 10 scary what? myths that are actually true. I'm quite worried about this actually. I prefer them to stay myths. I'm not <laughs> It's real thing. Top 10 scary myths that are actually true. I hope it's voiced like that, but I don't think it will be. Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to Most no, Amazing it's Top not. 10. It's not. It's not. It's not. Arena. We've all heard a bunch Chade of Arena. tales that have been blown out of proportion. Like maybe Bigfoot's real, or Loch Ness, or maybe your parents actually love each other. But sometimes these myths what? turn oh, I'm just close. saying, oh. I'm pretty sure Loch Ness is real. He said Loch Ness. Isn't real. Yeah, he means the monster. Wow. Yeah. He didn't say that though, Classic. did he? <laughs> Coming in at number 10. True. Like Bigfoot. Not like your parents actually loving each other. It's not true. So today I've put together wow, a list of the top lies. 10 scary myths that turned out to be true. Make sure you stick around for the whole video because I want you guys to write in the comments which ones you knew were real and which ones were a surprise to you. And let's do that as well, boys. We'll have fun with this. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. Number let's 10, go. the coffin no, bell. No the story voice. of a ringing bell coming from a buried coffin because the person is still inside. Who rings a bell? You're supposed to kung fu punch your way out like Kill Bill volume two but this is something that actually used to happen back in the day when doctors weren't as good as telling if a man was dead or alive they would tie a string to the hand Seems of like the person being animal. buried that was connected to a <laughs> bell lying there for a little bit and then see if they're gonna die yeah, yeah. <laughs> why are you in a rush to bury them like why are we just gonna go fuck it he <laughs> might be dead screw like him what if they're in like a month-long coma oh yeah, that's a good point. And all you have to do is attach a little bit of string to a bell. But then yeah. they're probably gonna die anyway, right? But if you're in a coma, are, are, you're not just sleeping, are you? Like, don't you need to be on like machines to keep you awake to a live well, you, you need food and water. You need like stuff put into you, otherwise you'll just die anyway. So, well, like, I assume this was before the times so of. So you had a coma, you basically were dead anyway back then. To be fair, that was kind of sketchy, you know. So what? I mean, if you if you're like, so, yeah, 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 your dad's dead. I'd just be sat next to the bell for like a month, just waiting for it to ring it. But like, are you right? Hope. Why, why would you bury him? What's the point? Like, let, let him just let him let him sit on the sofa for a bit. What if no one's around to hear the bell? And, yeah, exactly. Also, if you're in a coma, you've got a pulse. <laughs> like, but this is back uh, in the day. Hey, they, they, they didn't realise that yet, Vic. They didn't know. They, surely they can read pulses, though. Surely that you know, they figure like, out. Oh, lads, no? they, there's a lot of things. Like you, they based on breathing back then. Us, lads. There's people that could appear dead. You breathe in a coma. It was a very passing statement. All right. All right. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's not get let's not get hung up. If you nice. see what I did there. Uh, Easy. Yeah. You just poured whiskey on an open wound and then you told the person to smoke opium. But the string was tied to the person's hand just in case they weren't dead. They could pull the string and notify the people that maybe they shouldn't bury this person. A bit late at that point. I would love to sleep so good that everyone thought I was dead. Also, could you imagine you just finished filling up a hole after digging a hole and then you hear that little bell ring? I'd be like, hey, I'm on my lunch break. That's not my problem. Number nine, ah. stinky. You never know what is happening in a myth. hotel room before you've been in there. The person who None stayed in there myths. before you could have been super clean. Or maybe <laughs> the they farted the on all This is me. I didn't really think things no were stinky. Idea. Well, this one was a little bit of a shock for a couple, probably just trying to have a good time. The old legend goes that a couple stayed in a hotel room and there was a terrible smell. They called the staff to come check it out. After some solid inspection, they decide to move the mattress and they find a dead body. Yum! Ah! Oh, God. That ain't very dead. dead. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, this oh, is oh, completely no. true. You can look it up. I know you'll find something because this has happened more than once. Actually, world famous serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer used to commit a lot of murders in hotel rooms. Traveling is so fun. You can stay in a hotel, <laughs> sleep what? on a bed that maybe someone was killed on, or you can stay in an Airbnb and then you maybe stay with the actual killer. So exciting. Number eight. Hey is he good? I think this guy's alright. <laughs> is he good? Number he's, he's eight. He's putting a spice on it. He's putting a spice on it, basically. It's a bit, a bit <laughs> Something spice. like that. Halloween hay rides are some really small town stuff. Dress up your farm to make it look all spooky and scare some kids so they run and fall in manure. That's old school fun. Well, some of these haunted hay rides have legends of hanging kids appearing out of nowhere. And on a couple of them, this has actually happened. Teens have set themselves up to look like hanging bodies to spook what? people and then have accidentally killed themselves. The people oh, who are boring around oh on the hayride had no idea they were actually
actually looking at dead bodies. This has happened all over the United States. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. stick to going to Halloween house parties where people are only dead on the inside. Number seven, film crew mix-up. There's a God, bunch of great myths about the film mine. industry. It's all part of the Illuminati and they use movies to send some subliminal messages into our minds. The Tom Cruise is actually an alien in human skin and that's why he preaches a religion about outer space people. And sometimes props aren't actually props, but real, like dead bodies. Well, that last one actually happened. Well, they all might be happening. I just don't have the proof to prove the other ones. But in 1976, a film crew was working on the TV show Six Million Dollar Man. It's so funny how back in the 70s, six million dollars made you a bionic hero. Now it just gets you a cool condo in Manhattan. Well, one of these people on set went to move a prop body and one of the limbs fell off. He then saw that this wasn't a prop, but a real body. You think oh, the God. smell would give it away? Weirdly, the body was of a train robber named Elmer Curdy, who died in the early 1900s. I guess reuse, reduce, recycle. Number six, <laughs> so how going How's the body maintained for that El long? What, it surely decomposes at that point, no? Uh, it's a skeleton. Did they say when it was filmed? And then, then he said, right. said limb fell off, he's meant like the, like the arm fell off. Yeah, and the skeleton. yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah it makes yeah. sense. I mean, it's for good reason. You're stuck in a box with a bunch of people suspended in the air. If anything goes wrong, you're all dead, and sometimes I'll fart in them. You don't want to fart in it with like other people in there because then they'll know it's you. You want to fart in it by What does this have to do? <laughs> this guy <laughs> is this lost. Guy <laughs> is I mean, is it like, this guy has like, got coming to work and he's got to do like, he had to do 10 voiceovers for the day. Yeah. This, is, this is number 10. <laughs> he's very, he's very he's losing his marbles, and he's like, you know what, just get me out of here. Well, some myths about these death traps are about people getting cut in half, and that has actually happened. Oh, Father's Nation. That film is, uh... Yeah. Uh... Just get decapitated. Yeah, look, head's going up. In 2003, a man by the name of Dr. Hitoshi Hikido was strolling into an elevator in Houston, Texas. The door malfunctioned and closed on his body. The elevator then started to move and then chopped his head off. Oh, uh, no. Now's a perfect time to say, always take the stairs. It's better for you in more ways than one. How, where's the myth? What, you can die in an elevator? Of course you so, can die in an yeah, elevator. So, I, 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 I've never heard of it, innit? Like, you've actually never heard of it happening. You just think, like, oh, imagine if your head was stuck in it. Would you, I've would seen you it die? happen. I saw a video of it on Live Leak once. Well, well, no, was that guy. like you, Harry. Pretty much that guy, to be honest. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the comment said, apparently, when you get in an elevator, if you, if you want to be, like, you trying to not be risky, you're supposed to jump in with two feet. Because if you put one foot in and one foot out, that's when you can get fucked. If you're stuck on both sides it, properly. You got, yeah, you got in at the same right, time. Take no next time. I'll jump into every elevator again. But I also don't <laughs> want to ever jump on an elevator. Hey, it can, it, it can take a little bounce. It can take a little bounce. You'll be alright. You might scare the other people. Uh, in there Harry, Harry knows the challenge. elevator in my building couldn't take a bounce. He did a big jump and we got stuck for an hour. <laughs> we did. We fell two floors and got stuck for, for an hour. <laughs> I do apologize about that. <laughs> if you're from Pittsburgh, you probably know the story of the Green Man or Charlie No Face, a zombie that would walk around late at night snatching kids up to eat them. It's a classic urban legend of the area. Although the story of a zombie walking around eating kids isn't true, it comes from a real person. Charlie No Face was actually Raymond Robinson, and when Ray was nine, his face was melted Jesus off by an Christ. electrical accident. It was around 1200 volts that went through his body and left his face disfigured. In order to not scare people, he would only leave his house at night. Unfortunately, this kind of did the opposite. When people would see him wandering around at night, it would scare the hell out of them, and that's how the urban legend began. The poor dude was just trying to not bother anyone, and now Aww. everyone calls him rude names. Shame on all of you. Number four, toxic lady. The myth of someone coming into a hospital with some unknown sickness, and it starts to spread and infect everyone around them. On day one, like there COVID. were two people, and then four, and then 16. In three months, it's a billion pets. We, yeah, that, 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 is COVID. that hits a little too home. <laughs> yeah. That hits is a little COVID. too home. <laughs> Basically every zombie movie ever, but a version of this actually kind of happened. A woman by the name of Gloria Ramirez was rushed to the hospital for cancer treatment like in 1994. Yeah, Many doctors like tried to help her, but everyone who did kept encountering the same thing. A horrible smell coming off of her body. The smell was so bad that doctors and nurses started to faint, and few of them needed medical treatment. There were also unexplained things happening to her body, like black oil that seemed to come through her skin, and there were particles in her blood that no one could identify. Sadly, Gloria Alien. died before doctors could figure out what was wrong with her. So some lady came to a hospital with a super virus. It Mad. wasn't cured, and that's the end of the story. 
Have fun sleeping. What Number three, the rest of the people? bugs in your head. What happens to the people oh. that fainted? I don't think they caught it. I think they just they fainted. The fumes, the fumes yeah. of her, her yeah. fumes. Like earwigs. There's countless urban legends about bugs laying eggs in people's bodies, spiders in your tummy, all sorts of stuff like that. But none of those stories could be real, right? The only thing hiding under my skin is a crabby personality. Unfortunately, you're going to have to start <laughs> sleeping with earplugs problem. because that actually happens a lot. Specifically, it happened to Rochelle Harris in 2013. She took a trip down to Peru, probably to drink ayahuasca and trip out in the jungle while she shat her pants. And when she came home, she started getting really bad <laughs> headaches. Right. These headaches were followed by a scratch like noise this guy. Stop that she thought on him, was either. coming from <laughs> He's inside her head. Of it. She wasn't going crazy, but a screw worm fly had laid eggs in her ears, and oh. now maggots were dancing around up in oh. there. And if oh. that wasn't enough, this has happened with a lot of different bugs, like cockroaches and spiders. Two different people. It didn't happen to Rochelle again. Number two, organ thieves. You get too drunk in a bar oh, in Thailand, you meet a nice mm. lady, and next thing you know, you wake up in a bathtub full of ice and one of your kidneys is gone. Ugh. This urban legend is thrown together to scare tourists. But here's the thing, illegal organ trafficking is 100% Real. You don't need to worry about it if you're some drunk backpacker, though. I mean, you might still get your organs stolen, but chances are they don't want you because your body has been beaten up by too much booze. Why is he making a joke out of that? There's always uh, been a myth because this whole point. It's a myth every time. Something yeah, wrong with the that water. Lamb it comes woman, out right? like a yeah. funny color. Or has lamb? a weird smell. If that ever happens to your pee, lamb. please go see your doctor immediately. Then they look in the water tank and there's a dead body. Whoa. Well, in 2013, this actually happened. It was this goes Cecil of this Hotel shit. in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. Yay, more fun traveling stories. People at the hotel kept reporting the front desk that the water was coming out a strange color and had a weird smell. It took the hotel a week before they went to check out why this was happening. When they did, they found the body of Alicia Lamb floating dead in there. I know oh, bottled wait. water isn't good for you, but I think I'm going to stick to that and avoid the tap water at the next hotel I go to. Oof. All right, everyone, that is our list. Thank Damn. you all so much for tuning in. Damn. Remember to write in the comments and let me know. And this guy's now going home from work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was, I had some yeah. bias, had some humor no, for it. I, I respect it. I, I, I may have seemed to be hating on it, but no, I enjoyed it. It was just yeah. very out there. <laughs> Which of those myths did you lot uh, think were myths, but after you've turned out to be true now? But what I didn't know about them in the first place, how could I decide they were true? Yeah. I, I didn't know about this no face guy, I didn't know about. Yeah. Yeah. But elevators made no sense anyway. The six million dollar man one. The, the hotel killings a bit on the drug, and then if we've slept in a bed, just had someone killed on it? Possibly. Most likely. Someone's died in probably a lot of hotel rooms you've been, yeah. like, been in. You can't, like, as we murder, they can just be dying of natural causes. Probably. Been to an old hotel before, like an old motel or something. I reckon so. And that's the next thing. I'm going to put you in a hotel for like a holiday video. And, and you can do the black light and see if, see if we can Thanks. find like oh, blood grim. in it and stuff. Grim. You, know what, you know what? We should have done that in Benidorm. I mean, it, maybe I we would, would rather not. Because, yeah, yeah, then we wouldn't yeah, say Yeah, I think you come on the wall probably. Oh, that, that better dorm room probably seen some shit. <laughs> like real. Literal shit. <laughs> Literal shit. <laughs> <laughs> you should have floor 50 euro. You should have floor 50 euro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, Let's end it there. That note, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.